Hello friends, hope you all are doing good. And in this video, we are going to uh, talk about this new tool, ChatGPT, which has been uh, released a couple of weeks back and it is creating a lot of buzz. So uh, let us see that whether, like what are its abilities and in the end, we can discuss that whether it can replace a manual tester or an automation tester. Okay, so like this is this uh, application, uh, ChatGPT, and this GPT stands for a generative pre-trained transformer so it's kind of an ai and it has been fed a lot of data which uh, like it has resulted in the ability which can predict the data so let us uh, try with the like we will start with the manual part so we can write that write the test cases uh, for a lift let us see that what all test cases um, it gives us lifts moves up and down correct stop at the correct floor and not just don't just look at the answer just look at the variety and uh, like the coverage it is uh, taking so i think it is going to print 10 test cases yeah so see doesn't move if the door is open just see the uh, test cases like how beautiful like you can find these test cases at google also but this is like uh, we will see later that why it is the next google okay so like these are very descriptive test cases and it has a lot of coverage now let us like uh, try to write the test cases for a login window application okay mm, test cases for login window application window dow yeah valid username and password correct so this is not only like giving us the answer it will also help like a tester to write the test cases so like these are the very common test cases regarding the login functionality and everything so you can simply like uh, take and help from it like till here we are at par with google like google can also provide us the same test cases and probably more than that now let us try to uh, like move toward automation so let us like ask how to learn automation testing okay why is it loading <laughs> is it too tough I don't know why it is stuck. Yeah, it is working now. So, familiarize, familiarize yourself with the basic agree programming language and look uh, at the structure. It looks like that it has been written by, an, written by a senior architect or a manager uh, level kind of guy. So descriptive and like absolute brilliant join on online communities certifications see this is uh, like what i always keep talking about that certifications are a big boost to your resume and it will like help you in uh, building that repo latest development and trend in the field of automation testing reading article attending conferences great okay now let us try to uh, like write code to open flip cart write a selenium code to open flip cart let's see what it gives us <clears throat> or maybe we can reset it like this is a chat box kind of thing so uh, whatever you have asked previously it is try it, it will try to relate with uh, the same so see driver web driver dot chrome and not only it just like give us the code it also explains it that okay uh, selenium web driver and uh, the website is like this is for chrome and this is for firefox how cool is that great and one more thing which we can do is that uh, 
like most of the guys don't know javascript like at least in testing community so tomorrow there is a requirement that you have to write your framework or build your framework in javascript let's assume that so uh, those guys who have learned it it in java it is very easy uh, for them to like uh, extract that code in javascript okay it will not uh, like 100% it will do the work but at least uh, like rather than going to the stack overflow and then searching for answers it can uh, directly provide us the answer so let us try like uh, write a code to open like selenium code write selenium code to open flipkart in javascript Now let us see that whether it is able to generate the JavaScript code or not. Following code. And one more thing that you can also copy that code. You don't have to just select C. Like I'm not aware of JavaScript, so I cannot like verify that whether this is correct or not, but I feel that uh, like this this should be correct see builder for perfect and not uh, not only it can like generate code it can also answer that these kind of uh, questions like how to crack fang how to get into google let us try to uh, do that like uh, how to get in google as a qa become an at google family raise family raise developer so this is like a kind of similar to learn automation but still see <laughs> ihstqb certified tester i always uh, like push guys to do ihstqb certification in the beginning of their career so prepare for hiring relevant positions great great this is all uh, great stuff but uh, now let us see that uh, where it fails okay this is not like 100% perfect so let's say you already have a test case so we have an organization like uh, we are working for abc client also and for xyz client also we have already made the test cases for the abc okay we know uh, the outline of the test cases for the abc organization so let us now try to generate uh, those test cases for xyz organization okay so maybe mm, we can write pick the test cases of abc org and generate it for xyz organization organization it is not possible for me so like there is the answer that uh, although it is doing a very great work but it like it cannot 100% replace uh, the QA engineers because this is something which uh, like you have to uh, look forward to and uh, it can like uh, it will uh, definitely make our job easier but it cannot like 100% replace uh, a QA tester or a SDET. So I feel this is a great tool and uh, let's see how it uh, like learns and how it like whatever the output is it is giving maybe probably in like next one to two years it can like do this task also so this is uh, which we have to see so that's it guys if you have any doubt uh, regarding the same or I don't think you will have any doubt in this but still like let's discuss in comments what you feel about this tool okay thank you guys for watching